think life as a hallway or a school corridor. In front of these doors, you need to make decisions. And nowadays, there's a lot of these doors. When we are deciding which door should I take, which door is my goal, then we are constructing our identity. And nowadays, many young people are lost in front of these options. They need to, uh, and, and, and making career, as you know, demands engagement and commitment. But at the same time, nowadays, world of work is full of uncertainty, fragmentary careers and multiple pressures. The amount of mental health symptoms has increased during 21st century. This is tied to the fact that identity confusion is experienced among many young people. And at the same time, in Finland, this is 40%. Identity development is the key element in supporting mental health, improving career development, but also making innovations. Earlier, identity development was studied on a yearly basis, but my idea is to bring it to the daily level of individual lives. This will be done with experience sampling method, with mobile phone apps that can capture motivation and identity processes on several times a day for several weeks among hundreds of people. This will bring us a large sample, and I can use big data methods to bring personalized results for individuals, but also for intervention development. This means tailored support for just in the right moment. My dream is that my research will strengthen young people's ability to construct a clear identity and direct their own development. The doors will open by setting future-oriented goals, exploring different identities, and committing to certain life path with other people. Tomorrow's world of work will be done today, and well-being will be made today. We cannot leave anyone to standing in the corridor, because identity matters. Thank you. Thank you, Elena. Well, such an important topic. I can't include myself in the youth anymore, but I'd still be interested in how my identity is constructed. Um, Timo Honkela. You are the jury member who will now ask a question from Elena. Go ahead. So thank you for convincing presentation. I would like to ask, how do you build, as based on your expertise that you have shown even in your CV, the build a bridge between individual and then the social context? Uh, of course, we need to uh, always remember the social context. So probably the idea could be also that to start off maybe in the intervention phase that could be somehow done with other people because identity is always formed with other people and in interactions with other people. So, of course, as a psychologist, I come from like an individual perspective, but I always need to remember that somehow taking others and the relationships into account. Thank you, very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you.